Hello and welcome to the channel. So I'm going to do a little bit of a walkthrough and show you how to set up the lighting on the Moonlander and Planck keyboards from ZSA. So it's a little bit confusing sometimes because you can actually set the key colour per key and per layer. But they've also got these amazing animated sort of whole layer effects which can either apply across all layers or you can actually have that turned on for some layers and then use the per key and per uh, layer colours on other layers. So I'm going to show you how to set all that up and show you which order those things sort of take priority according to the way it's set up on the configurator. So basically if I switch between my layers here now I can see I've got some per layer per key colors set up here so you can see the different colors per key on this layer. So I've got this option down here to clear the per key colors for this layer and I've just actually done that on my layer zero here so you can see there are no colors on the keys on this one. So in this mode where there are no per key colors set on this layer we can actually use the manual controls to define the layer colors uh, for this particular layer but then when we switch to another layer like these ones it still uses my custom key colors which you can see that I've got set up on layer 2 and 3 here and 1. So that's 1, that's 2 and that's 3. So they've got the per key per layer colors and the default one I can actually just use the adjustments now to do manual changes. So if I do that we've got different modes. Obviously in the adjust layer you can't see the colors because it's using the per layer per key colors when I go into the adjustment layer but I, I know which ones they are and obviously I can control them so if I jump into layer three here you can see it's the hue and the toggle of uh, these three here so I'm going to go into that actually I could set those up uh, with some per key colors to make it clearer but I've focused on highlighting the mouse controls in this layer uh, but if I do that and then go back to the layer that doesn't have a specific per key per layer uh, setting applied I can see the options here so if I just switch through we can see that changes the hue there and so these controls here so if I jump into layer 3 this one here is the toggle layer colors this is the toggle lighting now the reason this is showing is because I have the toggle lighting enabled and if I turn that off then it goes back and it actually reflects the the default sort of setting here which is of course no colors per key at all and I'll still get my nice colors when I jump into the other one but if I hit the toggle lighting button then I get the animated effects on any layer that doesn't have per key per layer colors set up and the ones that do will show them when you jump into those layers. So the way to think about this is the toggle layer colors option will turn off any custom layer colors that you've got. So essentially those custom layers take priority over the animated fancy ones that you can tweak manually. Um, so if I turn on those with the toggle lighting option, so this is like a global toggle lighting thing, so I turn that on. Now in this mode with the toggle layer colors turned off, there's no colors coming from each layer, so the global manual um, toggle lighting mode will override everything. So I've got my nice colors on all layers. If I do toggle layers now with the lighting enabled, the per layer colors will then override the manual controls when I jump into those layers. That's quite a nice setup because you can have your animation on one layer but your overridden per key per layer colors on your other layers. So if I do toggle layer colors now obviously it just goes back to the manual control for all of those because it's no longer using my layer colors. So it's actually quite simple when you kind of <laughs> work out which order these things kind of take priority. But the main thing to remember is if you want to do your per key colors on some layers and have the animation on another layer, then that layer has to have no per key colors set up at all. So I hope that's clarified that uh, really cool feature of these keyboards. And of course, this works on the plank as well. Um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if this was useful to you. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you in the next video.